Welcome back. This is Bastion Assassin. We are live streaming Assassin's Creed Unity. I want to apologize. My game crashed. That's the second time in this stream on this game. Apparently, it's still got problems with that. Um, anyhow, we are on the final mission of the game, so that was very obnoxious that it cut my stream off early. Uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right back in, finish off the game, and then end the stream there. I'm not going to do Dead Kings until later today. Um, so, I apologize again for breaking up the stream. We're just going to jump right in, finish off the game. And here we go. Someone's gonna pay for this.
They're back. And now I'm hearing rumors someone killed the two at their side. You worry too much. The Grand Ma. <laughs> I'll fix you! Kill yourself, Strack! I can't believe I died after getting full sync on that one. quite close enough to get those two. Darn.
here. And now these guards will return together. Hold a moment. Someone killed Latouche in Versailles. You worry too much. The Grand Master has everything under control. Robespierre thought the same thing. <laughs> oh! Ah, you're no patriot! Who was that? I find some of the full sync objectives to be obnoxious. I like that they're always truly optional objectives. It doesn't have to do with how you do your main stuff, usually. You know, it's just like, hey, while you're doing your mission, do this. But sometimes what that means is that there's chore work that you do in addition to what you're doing in the mission. I mean, if this were just the mission, you'd try and find the stealthiest route straight to the tower, then climb the tower. Stop there, citizen! And that'd be all there was to it. Uh. I wasn't sure how well bullets would hit that guy. Ugh! <laughs> 
probably should have left after making all that noise once I saw red arrows coming towards my position. I don't know why I'm hoping to get more bullets. I'm not going to use them against your man. So the prodigal assassin returns. I suspected as much when Latouche stopped sending his tax revenues. The darkness cannot protect you. You've become quite the thorn in my side. I assume Hobbes there was your doing as well. No matter. His reign of terror served its purpose. The metal. The direct approach from an assassin. How? What? De la Serre as well. This is quite the reunion. Stay hidden. Keep him talking. Did you think this day would never come? That because Francois de la Serre had no sons to avenge him, that your crime would go unanswered? Revenge is. I see you, Revenge is it? Your vision is as narrow as your father's. You want to talk? How wide a vision was your grab for power? Power? No, 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 no. You're smarter than that. This was never about power. It's always Why been is about he control. dancing like that? Did your father teach you nothing? The order has grown complacent. For centuries, we focus our attention on the trappings of power, the titles of nobility, the offices of church and state. Oh good, that did some damage. I thought it wasn't going to because he intercepted me. My design is larger than my own life. Through this revolution, a new order will be born. With the chains bed with gold and silver. So kill me, if that will slake your thirst for revenge. Skulk all you love.
So kill me, if that will slake your thirst for revenge. <laughs> This is the moment I've spoken of uh, briefly during the other streams. This is the moment where you see that Elise truly does love her revenge more than she loves Arno, and it is the great tragedy of the away. story. Wait, I'm almost free. I can take him. No, you can't. Not alone. Wait for me. I'm sorry. Elise! Still gets me emotional. Holy cow! Bravo, you've slain the villain. That is how you cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah, a particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Those great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. Then I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and abasement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. It appears we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. 
Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her. The creed of the Assassin Brotherhood teaches us that nothing is forbidden to us. Once, I thought that meant we were free to do as we would, to pursue our ideals no matter the cost. I understand now. Not a grant of permission, the creed is a warning. Ideals too easily give way to dogma. Dogma becomes fanaticism. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. In the end, only we ourselves can guard against our obsessions. Only we can decide whether the road we walk carries too high a toll. We believe ourselves redeemers, avengers, saviors. We make war on those who oppose us, and they in turn make war on us. We dream of leaving our stamp upon the world. Even as we give our lives in a conflict that will be recorded in no history book. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves.
Uh, I don't think Abstergo will bother searching the catacombs for Jermaine's body. The bones are going to be too damaged, too decayed. We're in the clear with this sage. You did good work, Initiate. Until we contact you again, the best you can do is continue searching Arno's memories for anything else he might have seen, like rare historical data, more DNA samples, anything to help our cause. We'll be in touch when we need you. Count on it. I want to thank those who joined me here in this final stream. I apologize again for breaking up the streams because of the crash, but um, I want to thank those who joined me for Assassin's Creed Union and for the other streams. I appreciate your support. Uh, I know I was insistent that Assassin's Creed 3 is my favorite, but I think it might be Unity. It's such, it's so close, but Unity um, pulls at my emotions so much more than 3 does. Um, and tends to just be, in general, a little bit more philosophical. They both tend to be that way, but... Being, uh... Someone who likes to sit and think... I, I, I feel like those stories kind of resonate with me. Anyway. Um... I appreciate your support. Gosh, that music's gorgeous. Um... If you've enjoyed this stream or others, please follow me on Twitch. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, please like and subscribe and comment there. Let me know what I can do better. As always, remember, just have fun.